Pac-Man, Minesweeper, Bejeweled, you get the point. And they all save your high scores, which is very nice. I like that. And of course, the most addicting game on this, in my opinion, the Chopper game. Do 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 do. Very very fun, surprisingly. Aside from games, they have a bunch of new applications: a battery, benchmarker, calculator, calendar, chess clock, clock dictionary, something I don't know, lamp. Rock Paint, which is basically Microsoft Paint on this, which actually is a pretty fair rip. Text Editor, Stopwatch, and a bunch of other stuff. In their demos, they have a couple random things like screensavers or showing off the 3D features of it. Fire. Old Windows screensaver. But what is really cool is they have introduced album art cover flow, which works flawlessly, extremely well. Again, I apologize for not being able to view it that well. When you find an album you want, simply click it, and it brings you to the songs that are in there for your database. This is updated with your database once you have the files on the iPod. Once you're in here, simply press the middle button to start playing the song. You can then leave cover flow and go into your now playing to view it, the album art, time, battery, volume, play, pause, and a bunch of other cool options. I've changed my own, you can actually, it's very fairly simple, they're just images. You can change your background themes and everything. I have mine, just like my YouTube and MySpace and everything really is themed to black and red, like all my videos, stuff like that. Now in the now playing, you can on the fly create playlists, change sound settings, bookmark stuff, open with different things or even change the pitch which is kinda cool I'll show you make them wanna sound like chipmunks settings you can change a whole variety of sound settings volume bass treble balance speaker configuration stereo width cross feed equalizers and it has a very detailed equalizer dithering time stretch and composer in playback settings you have shuffle repeat play selected first fast forward fade on stop pause party mode cross fade you play again track auto uh, oh yes and it has last dot fm support so you don't have to worry about listening to your music and not having Last.fm track it because it's not a new iPhone or iPod Touch with the application. You simply download an easy program or use a website to get your Scrobbler.log file and it will automatically add them to your Last.fm profile as if you listen to them on your computer. I like that a lot. I use Last.fm a whole lot change general settings like brightness and backlit display, when it goes out, how long it does, theme settings, there are a whole bunch of themes, you can make your own, very simple stuff, and then you can save all that stuff. System will show change and show time and date, info, how much memory you have left, how long it's been running, and aside from that a lot, it's pretty much it. It's very straightforward, pictures work just as well. The main thing I like about it, aside from all the new cool 
Captain Sid and Gizmos says, I really hate iTunes. I don't know about you guys out there, but I absolutely cannot stand iTunes. And with the file browser, it just makes everything so much easier. Well, that has been my demonstration for the new Rockbox Beta demo for the iPod Nano 2nd Generation. Head over to rockbox.com and pick it up. It's very worth it. Even if you have a new MP3 player and you have this sitting around back in your back room somewhere, try it out. Get it, just to try it out. You might like it. This has been Vague Dustin, and see y'all later.